Good evening out there. This story goes back to the years of 2005 till 2008. I got this job at this warehouse. It was pick and pack work. I had some memorable moments with certain co-workers there. But there was this one person I met who, when they were growing up in the 60s, they were definitely a hippie. And a lot of times when me and him would crack jokes, talk about stuff at work, it brought a lot of light to that job. I remember when we would have our breaks, we'd have these 10-minute breaks. And um, we went and sat in like the conference room, and there was this TV in there. And um, it didn't have cable or anything, but we just usually use our breaks and uh, sitting in there watching like trash TV, like Jerry Springer and Mari and laughing at all that shit. You know, they've tested 900 guys, and that guy's still that one's still not the father, and it's just, and it turns into this whole scene, and you know, all the trash, you know, on Springer and shit like that, and then you hear this serious um like final words at the end of it like that even matters after everything that's already happened there but one time we this one commercial came on the tv and it took us by surprise it was all suicide 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 and i'm like apparently it was an anti it was a a hotline to call against suicide but the way it was saying it i was like is it promoting it or is it like against it like and it reminded me of the whole Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It's all like suicide, suicide, suicide. Um, I got a few opportunities to hang out with this guy outside of work. I remember one time a Friday after work, went over to his place, kind of near, kind of near the Oakwood downtown Dayton area. But we ended up going and getting pizza. And going back to his house and watching wrestling. Now, he was really into wrestling. And I was when I was kind of a teen and younger. Couldn't really get into it anymore. But it was definitely a fun night. And we were sitting there cracking a bunch of dirty ass jokes on our bosses. Now, the thing is, this was a good job. But there were some people there that made it really difficult. And made things really fucked up there. Now, there were a few workers that were... They were retired, and they didn't necessarily need the job. Now, those people got treated really good. They got talked to really good. But the rest of us got talked to. This is one of the worst I've ever been talked to in my life. It was definitely at this place, and it got bad enough that after three years, I had to just walk away from this place. I had to be completely done with it. And I found out like a week later that this place... <clears throat> was going to end up closing shop. So the way I kind of look at it, me and this guy closed Central Power Distributors down. And the funny thing is, that's not the first time I've left a job. And the job just suddenly disappears and closes shop. But, um... That's the story... For tonight.